We're joined by Peter Bookvar. Peter is an equity strategist over at Miller Tayback. So, Peter, good to have you back on Bloomberg. So, make sense out of the economic data. Glass half full, glass half empty in your view. Well, today the new home sales number, I think, was reflective of a hangover from the July through uh, October spurt that we got that was induced by the home buying tax credit. Uh, today's November number likely captured the end of October into early November when there was some uncertainty of whether that was going to be extended. So there was a lot of distortions around the November housing data. So mm -hmm. we can look past that and, and, and really we need to see what the housing market will look like when that tax credit expires in the spring and the Fed is done buying mortgage-backed securities. I mean, that's uh, where we're, we're going to get a clear picture, right, come summer? That's really the only true way we're going to get a, a, a good idea of what demand is, because the market's been so artificially uh, uh, juiced by the suppression of mortgage rates by the Fed and this home buying tax credit. So we don't want to know what's real and, and, and what's artificial. Hey, Peter, I had an earlier guest on Ward McCarthy over at Jeffries, and he said we actually need to help out housing even more. Specifically, he said the new home uh, sales or new home sales part of the market. Um, he says it's very crucial and important. It, it plays out in the uh, GDP data. You agree with that? Well, I, I think we still have an over inventoried market. We have an enormous amount of shadow inventory. We have an enormous amount of foreclosures. So I think the last thing we need is for new home building. So, yes, that doesn't help the construction industry, but mm. in order to clear out this inventory, we need to stop building new homes. Well, how do you do that? I mean, you've got home builders out there, they've got to make money, and what they do is build homes. I mean, how do you do that? Well, it, time is really the only thing that's going to solve this. We, we, we need. It's part of the whole economic picture where we need to start creating jobs again. But home builders have to understand the fact that the home ownership rate in this country was artificially uh, uh, mm -hmm. pushed higher. And it's going to go back to its long term average. And we still have an enormous amount of inventory. And this takes time. And anything that prolongs right. the, uh, the settling and clearing of the market will just make their life more difficult. Okay. Keeping people in homes that they can't afford, that just makes it, uh, prolongs the Got inevitable. It.